broadcast live. Yo, we out here with Shabzi, Mad Dalian. You know, he got a studio in his Uber. He got a studio in his car. He's always recording some shit. Yo, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? Yo, why ain't you riding rhymes? I'm riding. <laughs> Does it feel like I'm not writing? I just feel like because you drop so many songs, you know, you. when do you take a break? When do you get time to dye your hair? Yo, King, I think I think it's 2018, King. I think I needed to raise the bar for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year, it may have not seemed like it, but I was dropping as frequent. Every month I did drop something. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like the day I met you, you asked me, yo, Shabs, when are you dropping? Then I asked you for your email. You know, I asked you for an email because I was like, okay, Slicker doesn't see that I'm dropping. Yeah. Let me make sure he sees. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. So last year, even dropping that much was still like, I feel unseen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the way I'm doing it, fortunately, it's working. And it's becoming undeniable. Everybody's noticing. And it's bringing the things that it's bringing for me. And I'm really happy, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Right now, I can't stop since that's the goal for the year. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. every week I want to drop some kind of content. You know, yeah, at this yeah. point, second half of the year, I want to involve the vlogs. I want to involve um, letting the fans see different sides of me. You know, like mm, mm. other than being an artist, because now I feel like everything is hyper competitive. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. if you're just about the music, it's not enough to sell to. A fan who doesn't know who you are, you yeah, know, unless yeah, yeah. they're already loyal to you. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. how are you gonna sell yourself to somebody else is if they're able to see each and every part of you. You know, if they just see their raps, because most people will dub me as that guy as, yo, is Shabzi angry with these raps, you know? And then they see the vlogs and they see how chilled I am, and you know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just hustling, I'm just yeah. a hard worker. Yeah, yeah. Then they start understanding that, no, he really focuses on the craft, yeah, you know? Yeah. That's why it comes across the way it does. So with all the joints that you've recorded right now, and I know last time we talked, you said that you got like a neighborly relationship with your followers on social. Yes. Haven't they complained about like the data usage that, yo, Shabs, you're killing our data, B? You know what's crazy? No. Some of them, if I send them something, like a few of them will be like, yo, I don't have data tonight, but I'm definitely downloading it tomorrow. I'll get data tomorrow. So it's like they make a promise to me to get something. Yeah. It's because like all these years, if you look at most fans, they like pointing to the artist like, where's the music at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I'm giving you the music. Yeah, What's yeah. your excuse? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and if it's data for, it's, it's different from person to person. So someone else, they can afford data the next month and they'll wait the next month to download everything else. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, okay, I, I missed four joints. I'll wait end of the month and I get four new joints. Yeah, that's yeah. four, that's an EP. Yeah, yeah. That's an EP, you know yeah. what I mean? The next month you can expect another EP. You know what I mean? Like, I like how you figured out how your market rolls and how they behave also, yeah? yeah. That's dope. So I guess then all we can expect is a double album. If you pass away, um, we got some Tupac shit for the next 20 years. Bro, I have dreams about that all the time, you know? God forbid, touch wood, if I pass, I have a catalog that my family is gonna distribute in a way that I'll leave behind for them. I'll leave a blueprint for them and then they'll distribute the stuff. But I make music every day, every week, every month. If it's a verse, it's a verse. If it's a full song, it's a full song. But there's something. I just think that the people you're around are shady. I think they're just trying to make you record. One of them's gonna cap you, and then he gonna literally like go. He just wants you to sign something. Even your brother came up here with this enthusiasm, like, "Yo, yo, you gotta punt this nigga while he's alive, cause we got a plan for him," you know. But what's the importance of the trust of the people around you? Cause you always have the same people around you. It's 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 very very imperative, bro. I had the benefit to be in the game before I got in the game as Shabzi Medallion. I got to work in radio, I got to shake some hands with people I look up to before I came in. I got to take advice early, you know? A lot of people, some of them, they dub me as somebody who thinks they know a lot. But I know what I know because I learned it before you knew me as Shabzi Medallion. So the importance of having people you trust around you is very imperative because there's too many people out here who want to ride a moving train for the benefits, not for the work, yeah. you know? So 
I'm building something for my family. Look, my brothers, they into their own fields and I help them with that too. People may not see that, but I'm, I'm involved in their dreams. When my brother has to go do something, I'm there as a cheerleader, as a guy who's helping out and he's doing the same for me. Because this, at the end of the day, has to be about building a family business. Not about you and I are blood, it's about let's build something that we can leave behind generationally, you know? That's my formula and I trust who I trust and I keep them. We fight, we go up and down, but people want to stay, stay and work, you know? And because of that, these are the guys. Yeah, we out here with Shabzi Medellin talking the importance of fam, talking the importance of consistency, dropping joints so you'll be seen. Just because you drop 10 joints and you hit a person and you go, yo, but did you hear my shit? We don't know it. If you think, if you're the only person that thinks you're working hard, you ain't working hard. Peace. Broadcast live.